Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Soft Red Devils vs Hull Kingston Rovers has now finished. Hull KR picking up the win, their second of a season two from two, obviously winning tonight 24 points to 10 over Salford. And um, it was an interesting game for sure. Um, looked to be a very tight one going into it, two very good attacking sides. And um, whether that really whether it really lived up to that i'm not too sure hull kr um obviously picked up the win quite comfortably um and were definitely good money for the win you know suffered lots of mistakes tonight lots of errors both in defense and in attack um particularly with a ball in hand though in that first half um their their completion was only 60 something percent compared to um hull kr who were around 90 percent which is relatively high for Hulk KR and obviously relatively low for Salford. But interesting interestingly, obviously Hulk KR didn't get any points on the board in that first half. Um but in the second half they really turned it on. Four second half tries, four very good tries, um really putting Salford to the sword and to um and tested them. Obviously Salford did start very well and got a try really early on through Ken Seo and did start like a house on fire but Throughout the rest, throughout the rest of the game, they really, really lacked fluency, and no, I'm not going to say togetherness because there was obviously you, you can't doubt a team's togetherness really, but it didn't work out. They didn't play very well as a collective, um, should we say, um, in that first in in the game really, but um, very impressive from Hull KR. Obviously beating Wigan in front of a big home crowd last week and now beating Salford um tonight away from home. Um and obviously it keeps run going now. Um Salford's rotten record against Hull KR. Um their their last win against Hull KR was in September twenty nineteen, but I don't really think it was a case today of just poor luck and uh, not really getting getting good luck I guess against the team. Salford were just didn't play as well. No fluency, no no connection um in defence or in attack between the players and Hulke really, really did test Salford and um came out with a win which you could only say is what they deserved. Opacic, a very good um very good standout player for Hulke tonight, both in defence and in attack, but um but particularly in defence was where it was strongest and it was notable, uh, very noticeable um, for Hull KR. Um, his efforts did at times make the difference and he would be my man of a match. But um, Sam Wood also playing well for Hull KR. Um, I don't think many people expected him to start, but you know he, he, he did well, um, very well. And that's probably something that um, Willie Peters has seen in training and why he did start. Um but yeah, Paul Rowley will be disappointed with that one. Uh, Willie Peters and Hull KR will be happy with that one. Um, going into next week, where does that leave the two sides? Well, Hull KR are top of the table. They've got Lee next week. Um, if they beat Lee, it will be their best ever start to a Super League season. Three wins from three. Um, Salford, one from two. It's not a bad start, especially um, considering... They played Lee last week, who looked to be a very good side. But um, it's a very interesting position that both sides are in. It'll be interesting to see how they go next week. But that, guys, then, just the little, just a little match review. It's finished tonight, um, live in front of a Sky Cameras, uh, their Thursday night game this week. Sofra Devils 10, Hawkinson Rovers 24. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for another video soon. Bye.